a gruelling journey through jungle, eventually revealing this, a rebel base in Myanmar. Camp Victoria, a major headquarters in a nationwide uprising against the country's military junta. Some 200 volunteers from around the country have come seeking the military skills that they want to fight a regime that seized power in February and has brutally dashed hopes of democracy here. They're villagers, young workers, and many are former students who protested the coup and now believe that they must take up arms against it. Sad. It's very sad. They killed many people of our country. This can, uh, this can give me the power uh, to fight uh, the military gender. The instructors are members of the Chin National Front, a long-standing separatist army that is now in alliance with many others under Myanmar's National Unity Government in exile. These raw recruits are on day three of their training. They're only going to get 45 days training. That includes drill, assault courses, and above all, weapons training before they're going to be thrown back into the fight. They equip with local guns. Rebel leaders know uh, more blood guns. will flow. There are more than 15,000 already, and still coming, and still organizing, I mean, mobilizing uh, the armed fighters. And this is what that some um, the NGG is trying to equip arms for them. So it really is a civil war, isn't it? Leading to the civil war. Now it's in the kind of a urban guerrilla type. But uh, within uh, months, it will transform into like a, a conventional civil war. Tazan, Tazan. Recent fighting with the Junta forces has meant that reinforcements have been rushed to defensive lines. But the rush training has dangerous consequences. This young man, his comrades have told me, was blown up by an improvised explosive device that he was trying to plant as part of the defensive perimeter around this camp and around some of the villages that are threatened by the government army. Already refugees are on the move, leaving these idyllic villages for hillside camps. Tiao Song told me that the women, children and elders fled their village when they heard the sounds of fighting. Many men stayed behind, but everyone fears the military for its brutality. The Chin National Front says it's trained 3,000 people at Camp Victoria. Those who've graduated have been immediately deployed. Most of their weapons are bird hunting, homemade shotguns stored with an open fire to keep the damp off. They believe that this is a just fight, but they're short of weapons and rushed through training. And it'll take more than righteousness and shotguns to topple a military regime. And as the conflict continues, the numbers of dead will rise to a level when, eventually, people may start to lose count. Sam Kiley, Camp Victoria, Western Myanmar.